British people can't cope with American sporting success so much, they obsess over the per capita Olympics, which they still lose. And here's the other thing. We're better at British sports than even Great Britain is. For starters, this is the only medal count that actually matters. The total medal count, the ones that actually win. You don't get a participation trophy for losing better Great Britain. We have 1,175 gold medals. You don't even have 300. Get the 300 at least. I mean, you talk a lot of shit, but you can't actually win anything. Also, we have more World Cups than you, so we're better at soccer than you. We have four World Cups and four gold medals in soccer. It's called soccer. We're better than you. We also have more Grand Slam tennis titles. 351 Grand Slam tennis titles. And here's another thing. This 98, that's not even really accurate because that was most of those were won before the Open era. And here's the thing. Those don't count because they didn't invite other people. America has by far the most boxing world champions too. And it's not even close. Here's the thing. Britain, you're better off competing against Puerto Rico, which is an American territory. So here's the thing. A small American territory is actually almost competitive with you. You're not competitive with us when it comes to boxing. And it's not just that. We destroy you in golf as well. But you want to know the one that I actually think is the funniest? We've won the Rugby World Cup and we beat you to do it. So here's the thing. We've won World Cups in your sports, world champions in your sports, and we've literally taken over several of them. Name one American sport that Great Britain has won anything in and that you beat us in regularly. It doesn't exist. Great Britain can only and will only beat us in the Cope Olympics. You are forever world champions at Cope and we don't even try to compete against you there because it's impossible. So keep coping.